just have to say how much I resent when you say, if you really wanted to care about women, you would do something about prenatal care, or you would do something about maternal mortality. The women, on this side of the aisle anyway, have been working so hard to do exactly that. And the implication is very offensive to me that somehow we are blocking addressing these issues. And the idea of abortion, the abortion industry is controlling the data. Abortion industry. Do you mean like ACOG, the uh, uh, American, um, what is it, of, of, what is it exactly, Dr. Robinson, ACOG? Uh, American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists. Yeah, the, 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 that industry, and they support this legislation, I want to um, talk to you, Dr. Ru no, no, I'm not asking a question. I'm telling you how you make me feel with the kind of testimony you've given. So I just want to say to, to Dr. Robinson, um, so your home state of Alabama openly is hostile to uh, uh, abortion. You said that you have to give false information, false information. How do you get around, so then, then do you say, but the truth is, how do you deal with that? Well, I basically waste my time and my patient's time to give them the information that the state requires that I give them, and then I go back and tell them true medical facts based off of my training and experience. And there is no, there's this concern expressed around um, if this Women's Health Protection Act be, is passed that um, patients won't get informed consent. We are trained as medical professionals to give patients that anyway. We don't need politicians to tell us or to dictate exactly what is told to a patient in the room. As an abortion care provider, I can tell you without a fact, I am not ashamed of any of the care that I provide, and I'm not scared to tell my patients the facts about the services that they're there to receive. And these patients are under no delusion about what service they're there to Let me to just ask you one more question, though. Are you in danger? We have heard about people who provide care, including abortions, being under attack and even worried about their physical danger. Absolutely. My physical person is in danger at times, and also my financial stability in my community, because my hospital sometimes will make it difficult for me to remain in the hospital and maintain hospital admitting privileges because sometimes they just may be opposed to having an abortion provider on their staff, but they are harassed and the facility is picketed. And as far as my physical person, yes, I am in danger when they talk about abortion providers Dr. performing Robinson, the uh, gentleman's time has expired. Um, and uh, uh, I always hate to cut people off, but uh, uh, I've been generous on both sides of the aisle and uh, witnesses from... Uh, uh, both parts of the uh, uh, both sides of the issues that we're discussing today. 